good morning so before we get into this video give this video a thumbs up comment down below what y'all think of this video turn on your post notifications so that you won't miss when i drop a vlog or a video or anything just turn on your notifications subscribe and like this video um so this is my other vlog y'all seem to have liked the first vlog that i did so they always like yes d do more vlogs okay boom i got you so i'm doing another vlog it is in the morning it is like eight in the morning um my duty is not here for those who um have watched my last vlog y'all seen that duty is currently at um the young marines camp um he's there for the rest of this week actually they sending me pictures of duty not just of duty but like all, all the boys they sending me pictures and my duty is in the front and uh <laughs> i can't wait to see him so he wrote me a letter in which when i get it i will read it to you guys but i didn't get it yet they just sent it out i have a bunch of mail that i need to open because adult be adult life be adult too. that's from my business what is this y'all adult life be adulting okay that's my children's place credit card i don't even have aaron's account i don't even know that's like a buy that's like a rent -a center i don't have that never did um i bought the washer we bought the washer and dryer from there but yeah so um i have some budgeting to do because today is what what's today Tuesday yeah I'm 20 weeks today Ooh. so that's exciting I'm 20 weeks um what do I have to do today so today Lo is already at work my Woody is not here I have to go through this mail see what's up um I need to um tweak my budget not really tweak it for real just like um you know jot some things off um and then I have to go to the shop today to um, braid, you know, critique and, you know, perfect my braiding. Um, and let me see. Mm, let me see, because I was supposed to be there at 10, but she has to, she has something to do. She texted me like 20, like five, well, a few minutes ago at 8 16 and said she gotta make a stop real quick but she'll let me know when she get back i said that's fine um so in the meantime i do need to make dinner because i didn't i haven't cooked okay i have not cooked at all and i just got out the shower i smell real good got my little body suit on with some leggings because that's really if i'm not wearing leggings i'm wearing joggers okay and then i got my little half jacket on and i just threw my hair up in a little clip um some simple nothing too extra i was gonna wear a messy bun and i don't feel like doing that for breakfast i haven't ate anything yet i really want tropical smoothie cafe i want like a um, wrap or then again i wish i had a banana i don't have a banana can i why are you moving in there i don't have a banana um, I don't know what I'm going to eat for breakfast. I'm really not a breakfast person for real. I literally can dr just drink like a few bottles of water um, and not really eat breakfast. We do have granola bars and Nutri-Grain bars because we just went grocery shopping. Maybe I'll eat one of those. But I'm not really up to eating breakfast i'm just not it, it it's a hit and miss like yesterday we went out for breakfast i had french toast i had four pieces of french toast well it was two pieces but they were sliced into four so don't do that not too much and then i had um two strips of bacon which i don't know why i did that because my feet was hella swollen after that and then i had oh some hash browns with some onion and bell pepper in there when i tell you i ate all of that baby me and kanai ate it all okay it was good then we watched a movie lo and i watched um it's called lou 
L-O-U. If you haven't seen it on Netflix, girl, go watch it because it's good as fuck. And then I need to go to get... I really want to go to Zell's because I want to get Kanai a bracelet with her name on it. Like a, um, you know, like a wristlet type of thing with her name on it. Um, and I know I need to get that customized. I'm looking at my office area to see what needs to be done. And I just need to really do my budget for real. So, let me see. Let me see what children's place talking about because we literally have a children's place card and we don't use it for real. We paid it off and it sits there. Boom. I need to get a shredder. This is for Delari LLC. Let's see what they come out. I need to get a shredder for real. Oh, this is my bill. Ultra natural element to each extended. Disinfectant aerosol. What they need to get together is so what okay, so I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit of my business. Okay. So basically I went um I ordered from Quill. Like I order household stuff from Quill. If you don't if you have a business account, then you know what Quill is. If you don't have a business account, what Quill is is just like an online, like it's like a Costco, but for business account owners. And so you need an EIN, of course, and it has to be up to date. Everything has to be good with your EIN. It can't be having no backdated PPPs and all of that on there, okay? So, make a long story short, when we ordered from Quill, they sent, they, they told me that our order was delivered, but when it showed delivered, it showed, um, like when I got home, I opened my box and I'm like, it's only one of the four things is here so i ordered two of the um uh detergents and when i called because they said it was delivered when i called quill they was like oh it looks like it was damaged on the truck it was busted open so i'm like yeah i never got that nor did i get my um light saw in the purple can she was like oh we'll have to go ahead and reverse it but she was like we'll have to send it it's, it's on its way back out to you due to the damaging, but you have to refuse it and then we'll give you that credit back to your account. So why are y'all sending me a bill saying I owe $44.87 for natural elements, um, liquid detergent, along with disinfectant, um, disinfectant Lysol? That's not accurate, so cool, I will be calling y'all because you told me that I can use it as a credit or I can, you know, whatever. But when the man brought it back, I literally um, refused it. So that's what they told me to do. Because I went in store to buy it instead. So. Lab court. Oh, this is. This is um from when I got my labs done at $11 is due. Okay. So I'll pay that with HSA. But um actually I'll leave that right here. Pay that with HSA. What is this? Another bill. What? Why y'all be hitting me with all these bills? I don't even want to be an adult no more. Blood type. What is all of this? Balance 30 cents. Oh, this from the St. Luke Hospital. Oh, $5. dollars <laughs> thats what you get when you get good insurance. $5 is due. What is this from? Where is, what's the date of service on here? Okay, I'll pay y'all $5. 
But what's the date of service? Because I want to know. I see the service is rendered, but I don't see the date of service. Oh, October. October. Oh, they must be late. It's late. October 13th. October. Wow. And the statement date is 3 6 Wow. Okay, so I'm not late. I was like, wait a minute, October. Okay, so $5.00. And ten cent, and then eleven dollars. So I'll put this on HSA, get that paid because medical bills. Once they hit your um credit, it's over. I mean, it's not over. It's not the end of the year. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's not a bad thing, but I personally don't like to be owing no doctor bills. Let me see what this is because this is from um, Health and Human Services because y'all already didn't give me no quests no no snap benefits oh this is just a copy of the um they cut me off of medicaid girl so i'm <sighs> stressed because why i gotta pay all this money for everything i go when i go to the doctor why y'all can't give me um why y'all can't give me um medicaid for pregnant women we just had to pay four hundred dollars for a sonogram okay so boom boom okay i'll pay that so let me see my hsa account y'all want to pay bills with me i gotta make dinner i think i'm gonna just do white rice white rice well i'm gonna do rice i'm gonna make some white rice and then i'm gonna chop up some veggies and i'm gonna do teriyaki sauce some simple because it's only me and low so I'm simple. I did want some Alfredo. I might still do me some garlic butter noodles and lemon vinaigrette. Nobody knows me quite like you can even deny it. Do you want a Tony? Um... That shower felt good. I actually, I know I'm everywhere, but whatever. Um, I wash up with Native, y'all, and it smells so good. I really Um. I'm never gonna look like this. You know what? I'm gonna just pay it straight through the, what is it called? Let's get this one out the way. What is the website? Body to body, skin to skin, I'm never gone. Please enter the code ID and access number provided on your statement. So the code ID, bam. Why y'all just don't put it on one paper? Ugh, I got my juicy juice. So yeah, I'm doing my budget. Um, groceries is done. So I gotta pay T-Mobile and life insurance. Well, life insurance come out automatically. And then we got, oh, we don't gotta pay Cardinals and um, insurance until next week. And then CPS, which is our light bill, we don't have to pay that. Oof, we haven't paid that since we moved in here um, because we had a, a $2,200 credit we put on there. So we, I'm going to put some more money on there because I don't want the credit to run out and then we start having to pay the bill. So I'm going to put a $100 credit on there this month and then we should be good until May and then I'll put another 100 on there. But as of right now, we're good. Um, so right now, let me see, seven, maybe federal. Let me see what you got for 
on me, baby. Y'all hear that noise in the background? I'm sorry. Uh, I'm watching how I do my budget. T Mobile. Y'all, I don't understand why T Mobile be charging so much, but we have five lines. We pay $3.30 a month. I don't think it's bad, but baby, knock some off. <laughs> Y'all, if y'all budget, comment down below. What, but how y'all budget y'all money? You ain't gotta be, you know, too extra. Like, girl, you all in my business. But I'm curious to see if y'all budget. And plus, with Kanai, um, we well, she have her own account, but we put money in there. Cause do already have do Ben had his own account. Oh, so long ago. So do good. Plus But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook my rice and then I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for a few hours so that way it, it won't be so sticky. And then um, I'll go ahead and make my, I'll go ahead and um, once my rice, cool, it, it will be like a stir fry rice or like a hibachi type of rice. So I'll just sit my rice in the refrigerator for a few hours and then when I come back from the shop, then I'll go ahead and proceed. Oh, can I? I'll go ahead and proceed with um, finishing off dinner for today because Lo don't get off till 5 30 I don't know what time he get off for real I think 5 30 and he I don't know I don't know I can't remember they changed the shift so damn much I don't okay. so then I decided we need to do laundry so I put a load in already Duty, I don't know where he at going on, but he, um, forgot to put his, wait a minute, forgot to put his clothes in the dryer. So we got me and Lo, clothes going. This is our laundry room, y'all. This is the laundry room. Okay, y'all, so I'm on the phone right now with my dad, I'm calling talking crazy but he doing good he doing good prayer works he doing good i gotta go mail this thing off to my granny my granny don't know i'm sending it to her but i'm gonna mail it off i done had it for probably a few days now and i'm like you know what? i'm gonna go mail it um i gotta put gas in my car and i want some hawk head cheese girl so we finna go find some okay so i'm gonna bring y'all with me and we gonna do that i'll turn the camera back on when i get in the car okay y'all before I got pregnant, so my stomach is literally ripping. Okay, y'all. So I'm on the phone with my sister and my dad. We on the three way. Um, she needs to put tummy no, put tummy butter. It's coke. It's um, tummy butter from Walmart. So. This didn't have nothing. They didn't have what I was looking for. I'm finna go to Walmart, maybe. And then I'll go to H-E-B. Girl, I gotta find this hog head cheese, baby, because I need it today. Talking about Amazon. Talking about $57. My husband was like, I don't trust it. Baby, I don't either. We gonna go find I like, some um, hog head cheese. Okay, you guys. So, I'm at Pizza Hut right now. And... Um, I'm waiting on my food because I'm hungry, so I'll put my food in here when I get it. I'm waiting on it right now.
Good morning. So, today is another day. And I have to get some things taken care of. Duty wrote me a letter. So, once the mail runs, we will be reading that letter today. Um, what I gotta do today? I need to go to get some cheese because I'm gonna make veggie pasta and I need some cheese. I have heavy whipping cream, heavy whipping cream, but I need to get some cheese because I need to be sure that it's together. I made a dish yesterday and Lo was like, you didn't put no love in here. I was like, I ran out of sauce. But I could have made it homemade for real, but I didn't. So, oh, I got to do some editing. That's what I got to do. Um, yesterday was not my day. Like, I was like, I can't pick up the camera. I literally stayed in, like, right now it's 8.04. I literally stayed in bed until about 10. Probably, yeah, 10. I got up. Um, wash dishes, cleaned up the house, whatever, and then I ended up getting back in the bed, you guys. Um, and it's crazy. Dealing with grief, 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 dealing with grief is really fucking hard. Nobody, like, I don't think, like, you can be prepared for that, but it's hard. Um, and I'm... I just didn't feel like, okay, I got to get out the bed. Like, no. Nah. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. I did eat, though. I had some um, Little Caesars breadsticks with some wings and some um, coconut donuts. I ate that. But, yeah, that was pretty much it. Um... And, yeah, so I'm excited for the letter. I want to see what he has to say. They have been sending me videos and pictures. So I'm excited to see my little do. And, um, yeah, we're going to get that letter open as soon as the mail runs. Because I have the app to where I can see what mail comes. And so I was like, oh. It says Young Marines, Kalani. He wrote his mama. So yeah, I'm excited for that. Um, I'll probably go get like some Jimmy John's later on today. I've been wanting that. I'll turn the camera back on. I do have to make this appointment, which is the Hello Baby, the 3D, 4D ultrasound. I have to make that appointment. Um, I want to see what Kanai looks like. I'm feeling it. They have an AK one. My sister was telling me about it. She's pregnant too. Um, and they were saying like, or she was telling me like, they have an AK one and the baby look realistic. Like, oh wait, maybe I'll do that one. Um, and so, Lo was like, he's open to doing it or whatever. So we might just do that one as well. Um, but in the meantime, in between time, I'm gonna just turn the camera on casually throughout my day today. Um, and I'll talk to y'all here and there. I know y'all like weekly vlogs, so I'm gonna have to pump, pump it up, step it up a little bit. Ouch. Um, but yeah, that's what I forgot to tell y'all. So I'm actually going to go to, wait, let me see what time they open. Girl, I'm going to Bath and Body Works because they actually have sent me a coupon thing and it says $3.25 lip care. And I need to give me some more lip care. Plus, I have a $16.95 reward thing that I still need to use before it expires. So, yeah, I'd rather just do that. So, let me just see when that Bath and Body Works is going to open. Let me see that. I was like, I'm going to tell them something, but I forget. Or I forgot. Oh, uh, 10 a.m. Okay. So, I'm going to go at 10 a.m. I paid out. I have a phone bill already, so, yeah, I gotta think of, what works 
legislation look cray cray. I got all these papers around. Let me see what it says. Oh yeah, I got it. Make sure that's taken care of. Um, but yeah, I don't have an appetite this morning, y'all. I don't. Um, I woke up with severe fucking heartburn. Bad, 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 bad. Bad business. And I was like, ooh, I need to get up. Plus, could I be moving at a certain time? And so I'm like, girl, let me... Okay. But I end up getting up, got a shower. Um, put on some comfortable clothing. And then I'm like, let me vlog today. They didn't see me yesterday. And I don't like that. But yeah, we definitely going to Bath and Body Works today, sis. Because I need some more lip care. Because I was going to go to Walmart and get some Carmex. I love Carmex. But, you know what? I still, I still might just go give me some Carmex just to have it. Because you can never have too much um, lip care. If you know what I mean. No. You can never have too much lip care. So, I think I'm going to go to Car uh, Walmart and go to... What the heck? And go to... um. Bath and Body Works for show because I need to get that lip care. I need to take advantage of that little sale. Um, yeah, so come with me. Y'all see our a family thing? Can y'all see it? Caden picture keep falling, so we gonna have to get something else because the adhesive is just not sticking, baby. So. Oh, and then I'm in pain. We ain't even gonna talk about it. We gonna get through it though. Let me lock this computer. I'll be acting like I'm at work. Like, let me lock this computer, but it's a habit. Okay. Um, I need to really go in do room for real and um get his stuff together because I did hit, well, before he left, he did his laundry, but he didn't finish. And so, I end up finishing it for him and I literally never folded it so I think I'm gonna do that get his room together I haven't been in here since he left so I think I'm gonna get that together for him give him a little peace of mind you know what I'm saying because even though you a mom that don't mean you stop cleaning up for him you know what I'm saying and then his bathroom ain't no don't nobody come in here it smells good in here. Let me see. His oh, we gotta change this. His um thing is out. I'm gonna have to change this. And then like <laughs> me and Lobe having to do his chores, so it's like, did you set the garbage out? Did you check this garbage? Did you do this? Did you do that? It's like, God, fuck. But okay, y'all. Oh, let me turn this light off. CPS. I told y'all about CPS. Okay. So I'm about to literally watch some. Well, I'm not, I'm not about to watch nothing. I'm finna listen to some TV. And then I'm going to edit because I have some videos to edit for y'all. And plus, y'all want to see more videos of us on both channels. So, and then I got to send some thumbnails over to Lowe so he can get them done. Teamwork, right? Come on now, Mac. All right, you guys. I'll turn the camera back on when I go to Bath and Body Works. Okay, y'all. So, I just got to Bath and Body Works. But I also did go to Jimmy John's. Um, in which we finna eat really quick. I did get me a Powerade in which I've been drinking. I got me some chips. And here's my food. Right. I love the salt and vinegar chips from them. So good. Mm. So let's see what's tea. I got heartburn bad as hell. 
Can you put my onion? Yes, he did it. Okay, boom. Good girl. So good. Mm. It's so gloomy today. I love onion. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna finish this and then I'll see y'all in Bath and Body Works. So I literally forgot the camera in the car when I went into Bath and Body Works, but I only got these two lip glosses for real. Um, I end up stopping at HEB and then I end up um, grabbing some stuff for dinner. Okay, so I checked the mail. I got to get my life together. So I ended up checking the mail and my letter came. Oh yeah, I gotta read through the rest of it. So my letter K. Let's see what do say. <laughs> it say hi. It was fun and it was also hard. The something was also a lot of yelling, but tomorrow we have to do FT physical test, but it's at 5.30, so that's fine. So, that's all he wrote. So, honestly, Duty probably didn't want to write a letter. He probably didn't want to write a letter. Because they put his name on it. It was fun and it was also hard work. It was also hard. The was. I don't know what he meant. The was. Also a lot of yelling. But tomorrow we have to do FT. Physical test. But it's at 530. Yeah. Duty probably just was like. Fuck this shit. Is it Saturday yet? I don't want to write no letter. So I think it's one more letter that he gets to send. And I'll see if he wrote something in that. If not, then we'll just see him on Saturday. I don't know. Hopefully he do. Hopefully he write a little bit more. But I'm sure. Like, I'm going to ask him, like, why you ain't write me no real, real letter? He probably going to be like, I want to go home. So we going to see. But, um... Yeah, I think they get one. I think they write one more letter because we have to send two envelopes. So we'll see. But I'm gonna go back home and start dinner. It's four o'clock, so I'm gonna go start dinner, and we'll go from there. Okay, y'all. So I just made veggie pasta. <sighs> it looks so good, and it smells very good. So here's the good night. Why are you kicking me, fat girl? You ain't eating again. You just ate, bro. <laughs> she just ate. Okay, so veggie pasta. How was the um, flight? Hold on. I turned you down. What'd you say? How was the flight? What'd you say? How was your flight? Quick. Hey, TT. Hey, TT. I love you, TT. TT, I love you, okay? Mm, mm, mm. 
Mm. Mm. You touched her and everything? Well, she could see myself. She could be pissed. She got hair on her chin. You know, she don't like that. Right. You got eyebrows. She don't like none of that. <laughs> She's she just drawing her. Right. Sideburns. Oh, she hates them. Okay. So she ain't flinching or nothing. Nothing. So, um, her hand was so tight. Let me see her hand. TT. This one a D. I let it wait. She can do it. TT, this one a D. I love you, TT. Lord Jesus. I told you I was coming. You can't go nowhere without me. <sighs> I'm gonna call you back. Don't get overwhelmed. I'll call you back. Just if you got the screen on them, you can't be over there going through nothing that. No, I just, you I just, no, I, I, don't, I, don't, I just needed to see her. You alright? Yeah, I needed to see her. Me too. Me too. That's how I was. Hey, Granny. Hey, baby. How you feeling? I'm okay. How you doing? Hey, Granny. How you doing, Granny? I'm not. I'm not. My chest hurts. Have you been able to eat? I ate a corner of a chicken sandwich. That's it. Auntie Brandy, did she eat? A little bit. Granddad gone? Uh-uh. That arm is sitting down. So what they saying now? Sarah's got a comfortable. Mm -hmm. You prayed over her, Angie? Yes, ma'am. Give her a kiss for me. I can't get up there. Oh. They got them. They like this. Oh, she like barricaded. I can't reach up there. You know, my teeth too big. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been able to eat? I'm taking my blood pressure. Mmm. It's okay if you're tired. She's, I'm gonna call you back. She said she's tired? I'm, I'm gonna call you back. Okay. Yeah. So. Eventually, I'm gonna talk about this, but grief is hard, bro. Like the shit is hard to deal with, and um. Tomorrow is the day that the plug is getting pulled on my aunt, and I'm just blank. Hold on. Good morning. So this, let me sit down. Um, <sighs> Y'all see that laundry right there? That's why I'm sitting on the camera. 
So, I don't know what. These bar stools ain't comfortable when you ain't got you no know, pants on. I don't like these. So, um, I'm about to do my hair. I literally just got out the shower. I'm about to do this laundry right here. Um, fold it and put it up. Um, it's hot. I just got out the shower. Um, today I have to go and uh, find me something to wear for duties graduation from young marines so i just gotta for real find some army fatigue maybe i'll find some um leggings or something um and then go from there but i just wanted to get back on this camera and just come to y'all real quick um because this is the end of the week's vlog actually today is friday so y'all probably see this vlog saturday and um, I just want to let each and every one of y'all know that I really do love y'all. I appreciate y'all. I thank y'all so much for watching my vlogs. Um, I thank y'all so much for just, you know, um, entertaining. Or I thank y'all so much for just being a part of d Larry and d and Low Vlogs. Um, being a YouTuber for me has not been the best or the easiest journey. But I will say it's worth it because I've met and engage with so many of y'all that I never seen a day in my life besides on a picture or as y'all see a lot of my life um if y'all watched this vlog up until now y'all know the last clip y'all seen me um talking to family um and I just want to touch on it real brief I'm not gonna go into detail but um I lost my aunt uh, which is my mother's oldest sister um I did lose her. Um, I'm named after her and everything. Like, I'm, 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 I'm gonna miss her. Um, and, you know, this is going to be a transition for me. Uh, I don't want to dwell in sadness. I want to remember the good times that we had. Um, you know, her picking me up, her listening to her favorite album, one of her favorite albums, I would say, was um, Get Rich or Die Trying. So, y'all know I don't got 50 on my playlist. Um, you know, she was one of the ones who helped me write one of my uh, first songs. Um, just growing up with my aunt was very, you know, fun. You know, picking me up from school here and there. Um, listening to Limp Bizkit 112, you know, um, going to, this one, she used to work at the Ramada Inn in Milwaukee, working at the Ramada Inn, I'll get picked up at like five in the morning, like I really got to go to work, I think I was, yeah, I was still in high school, um, so she'd pick me up and stuff, we'd go to her job, she was a, um, she was in the kitchen, so I'll help her set up the dining room and stuff like that, um, her showing me how to braid and um she was the oldest as well so me just taking the initiative from her by me being the oldest it really helped um in so many ways and i will forever you know what i'm saying love and cherish her i'm actually going to um order me a necklace with her face on there like i did my nanny so that way i know that regardless of where i go what i'm doing i know my aunt is always with me um, I'll tell my daughter about her for real. Um, I'll actually get her picture, how I got my nannies and Lowe's granddad and his granny. I'll get my aunt picture there. Um, and you know, I just want, like, dealing with, everybody deals with grief different. And me, I'm the type, like, I'll cry it out. I'll, you know what I'm saying? I'll cry it out and then I'll be okay. Um, I'll have my moments here and there, but it's not going to be like a long process to where I got to, you know, go to counseling or I got to, you know what I'm saying, uh, seek professional help. Um, Lo has really been, um, very, you know, comforting when it came to this situation. Um, and also, I, like I told my husband, I feel like I'm being tested for real because last night, um, around midnight or so I got a text message with a video but I didn't I didn't wake up I was sleeping so this morning when I woke up when my husband went to work I seen the message and it was from my sister she was in a 
car crash, her car is total, airbags deployed. Uh, and I'm just like, am I being tested? Like, am I supposed to like, is, is this test seeing if I'm gonna blow up and rah, rah, rah? Or is this test like having me really bob and weave through the good and bad to see if I'm gonna dwell in, them, in it? and then become miserable and then fall into a depression state or if I'm gonna be strong enough to keep my head held high and you know um acknowledge what what is going on and just try to stay level-headed you know what I'm saying and um the song that keeps coming to mind is encouraged um and I I don't know I just keep listening to the song and uh I know my sister probably gonna watch this video. I did text her, I called her, I texted her wife, or I inboxed her wife, cause nobody's answering. I don't know what the thing, what, what took place. All I know is the last thing I know is she was going to Nicki Minaj's concert. I think they was going to the one in Atlanta, the show in Atlanta. But from her phone location, it still says she's in Arizona. So I don't know what's going on right now. I'm not gonna panic until I talk to her. Um, and I mean, I just have to wait. I don't, I don't wanna, you know, blow things out of proportion. I did talk to my dad this morning. He was reassuring me, you know, uh, like, do you wanna, I understand this is hard for you. I, do, I am, you know, sorry. You know, my dad knew my aunt, you know, he knew him. He knew her, so it's like, he's just like, you know, just do the best you can, and, you know, she will want you to do this, and, you know, don't dwell in sadness, because that's not what we do, and he was just reassuring me for real, and, you know, he called me late last night, but I was asleep, and then he called me again about 6.45, no, probably about 7.30, and, you know, he was just talking to me, he was like, I just wanted to make sure you was okay, I didn't want you, you know, stressing over there, and... You know, it's already hard because I, I don't have duty here with me. Um, and, you know, Lo has been a, a big help, you know. And um, i just been cool for real. Like, I'm going to miss my aunt. I am. Um, I know she has some sickness going on. It's not, it, it's unfortunate, but it's like, we all got to leave, y'all. We all got to leave one day. And I just pray that when I do go, that my kids is set financially and my kids is set for their future. And that way they don't have to really dwell on anything. They might have to deal with the fact that I'm not here no more, but they'll always remember that mama made it happen. And that dad and Lo made it happen as well. And you know, we're married and our marriage is very healthy. Um, and I just want everybody to understand that even though this is a tough time for me, sending your condolences is fine, but don't dwell in that. Like, don't keep sending it. Like, I, I thank you. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not being mean about it. It's just that I feel like when people keep saying, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so, like, it's like it doesn't make it better. Try to think of the good times. Like, with my nanny, that's hard. Like, that lady was i don't <laughs> i don't know i look at her picture every day though i look at her picture every time i walk in every time i walk out i wear her necklace um it, it doesn't get easier it's a year coming up for her and um i just feel like you just have to surround yourself with a you know a positive circle don't put yourself in a circle where it's just sadness every day. Every day you sad. Every day you unhappy. Every day you gotta find you some money. Every day is something. I don't wanna put myself in that type of circle, so I'm not. So I say this to I say this to let you all know that regardless of what happens, I'll always love each and every one of y'all. I'll always cherish y'all, not because today's Sunday or yesterday was saturday or you know what i'm saying it's not it's the days or the holidays or anything doesn't have nothing to do with it it's just a simple fact of you always tell somebody you love them you always tell somebody you know what i'm saying you care about them you you show 
that affection because you just never know. The good thing is, the last time I did talk to my aunt, she told me, I am very proud of you, I love you, and TT misses you, um, TT misses you. And I said, I love her back. And I said, I will continue to make you proud. And from here on out, and even before, I will continue to do that. Because even with my nanny, the last thing I told her was I loved her, I gave her a kiss, and I told her I was gonna be back to take her outside um, when it got warm, but you know, unfortunately she, she, she couldn't hold on that long, you know, and Like I say I cried it out. I don't I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna cry again, but I'm saying that It's okay to cry But don't dwell in it Don't fall into a depression. I know that if I continue to cry and be sad and lay in a bed all day. I'm gonna fall into a depression. I am. Mm -hmm. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do. I'm five months pregnant. First of all, so I have to think of my daughter. Second, I have a son who still depends on me. He doesn't know. I don't think I'm gonna tell him. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna tell him. Then I have my husband. I still have to continue to be a mom and a wife, a content creator. I still have to continue things because my life can't stop here. It has to continue to go, but for the better. And that as long as I keep those people that's close to me in my heart and I wear something or I, I have something to resemble them every time, then I'm okay. That's how I look at it. I'm okay. I'm okay. I am. I feel like I'm one of the strongest people ever because I done been through so much. And it's just hard sometimes. And it'd be like, why me? You know what I'm saying? But then I look at it like, I have over 35,000 people who literally look forward to a video from me, no matter what I'm doing. And y'all engage and y'all do what y'all need to do. And I really appreciate each and every one of y'all because y'all are like my outlet. Y'all are like my family that I never had. Some of y'all, you know what I'm saying? I literally talk to personally you know what i'm saying and i literally appreciate each and every one of y'all and i just wouldn't take that for granted if y'all going through something and y'all just don't know which way to turn always pray if you are you know i, I don't want to have your beliefs or whatever whatever you believe in baby do, just pray you know what i'm saying put yourself first smile um if you got to write out your feelings do it it's okay but just know that there's a light at the end of that tunnel, okay? And if I had an older sibling, I would want them to tell me inspirational things too, but I don't. So I'm glad Lo is the oldest, I'm the oldest. So it balances it out because, um, you know, things can get tough at times. And I'm glad that me and my dad talks and he gives me words of encouragement as well. Um, and I wish, honestly, that me and my mom would have a talk, but I don't know how that would go because I don't know how her, how her thought process is. I don't know. Um, but the fact of the matter is, I love both of my parents, regardless of the situation, regardless of, you know what I'm saying, what, because people go through their own stuff, you know what I'm saying? And I feel like regardless of what, I still love all my siblings, each and every one of them. We don't got to talk every day, but I still love them, you know what I'm saying? And if one of them was to call me, I will answer my phone for them because at the end of the day, they, I'm their oldest ch uh, sister, sibling, whatever. But um, I want y'all to know that life is a cycle. So we have this life and we have the second life. I'm going to see my auntie, my, I'm going to see both my aunties again. I'm going to see my nanny again. I'm going to see my granddad again. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay. Um, and I'm gonna keep telling myself that it is okay. It's okay to cry. It's okay to be down for a little bit. But the fact of the matter is that I know that my family will want me to continue to pick up this camera and they want me to continue to do what I love to do, whether that's music, modeling, singing or dancing, and most importantly, being a mom and being a wife. I'm going to continue to do that and also being a good person because regardless of how many people bad talk me behind my back, 
that's just them being negative because they don't have the you know what I'm saying the courage to stand up to me because they know the old me they don't want to see the new me they don't want to, they don't like the new Diwana they want to see the old they want me to be toxic I have not I am not that I'm sorry I'm not and I and I is no one on this earth who's gonna make me feel like I have to go back to that mindset you know what I'm saying and if you feel like that's the only way you want to be in my life then you can't be in my life it's a privilege so with this being said, you guys, I'm not gonna keep yapping. I gotta go get my, I, I gotta get myself together. I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you so much for watching this vlog. It's been a crazy week for us, but y'all seen it all on camera. Um, if y'all want me to do more vlogs, feel free to comment down below. We will vlog duties, uh, graduation ceremony. We don't know if he want to do a sit down video of his experience, but we'll see what he's feeling. Um, I can't guarantee that, but I will add some clips um of him in the young marine as far as like his pictures and everything that we have um and yeah we'll go from there so oh can i like girl as always i'm the larry y'all popping in all that and until next time i'll see y'all in the next video y'all too messy talking little big shit trying to test me only gucci and louis is my bestie yeah your nigga wanna take me out but he a